welcome back to my channel welcome back to my life in today's video we're going to be doing a little day in the life today is going to be a very very productive day I am proclaiming it I am speaking it out and it's gonna be a good day I'm excited I just made my coffee haven't had some breakfast yet but I'm just gonna chug this coffee down it is so good Mm. If you guys have an espresso machine, the original line, you need to go to Target and get the Pete's Coffee because they're affordable. I think they're pretty affordable. They're so good and creamy. So if you're like really into a good creamy coffee, get those pods because they're really good. I'll put like two of them on the screen that I really, really like. They're so good. I have this perfume here on the table and I want to put some on. I showered this morning and I changed, kind of got ready, myself ready for the day. Today's going to be a filming day like I mentioned. I'm going to be filming some content because I feel like it's been forever. Ever. but I had like this day planned to do full day of content but y'all I have this thing on my lip let me give you guys a little story so you guys know how I'm always changing things around I'm always building something so one day like four days ago or three days ago and this thing is still here but like about four days ago I was undoing a desk because I didn't like it and so I was gonna return it and so I was undoing a wood piece and I was sitting on the floor and I was like trying to pull off the wood piece and it went boom literally right on my mouth like right on my lip like like this I'm so happy that my teeth didn't chip I really thought I was gonna like chip a teeth that's how hard I hit it and so I had this whole side like bruised and so now it's just like a little bump which it looks like a pimple at this point but it's not but it hurts so bad and so I just think it's really really distracting on camera I record a whole video yesterday and I just couldn't stand it it was way bigger than this so I just put toothpaste I tried to ice it a little bit and it's still there but I need to get some content up so I am gonna film anyways and I'm also going to vlog I am using a new set of lenses today and a different camera so I'm using the Canon R6 and I'm using the 16 millimeter lens I think it's one of Canon's newer releases and it's a vlogging lens because it gives you like that big wide angle because my other camera that I use is this one right here I use the Canon M6 Mark II I always get that question what camera do you use to vlog and film your reels usually it's this one this is what I use and then my actual like sit down YouTube videos I use the 90D so it's a whole bunch of I'm just a techie girl and I love to like try new things so yeah so this is a 16 millimeter lens from Sigma but this is a cropped camera so even though this is a 16 mil it's still significantly zoomed in this one right here is a full frame camera which is actually the only full frame camera that I own and I love it I never used it for vlogging before so I just I wanted to try something out since I got these lenses yesterday or like two days ago and so far I like it. it's very weird because you can see everything like you guys can't even see my neon sign when I use this camera because it's so zoomed in and now you can see the whole thing which is pretty pretty cool so let me put this here back we got the messy bun going on today but let me give you guys a little run through on what the agenda is for today today I'm gonna be filming a makeup video for YouTube and then I'm also gonna be doing a reels so we're gonna be doing a double doubling up on content for reels and YouTube because reels does really really well and I'm also trying to build my TikTok. so if you guys have TikTok, follow my TikTok. it's at Chelly's curls we have a little bit of everything going on over there I do want to just continue to post more on that platform so that is one of my goals for 2022 so I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial that's what I'm gonna do right now but before that I need to clean up my desk my desk is a hot mess and I just can't I know it's gonna get messy again but I like to film with a clean space not me getting the perfume and getting distracted I never even put this one on what's wrong with me I got this one in PR and it smells so good I've been obsessed with it it's from flower bomb ruby orchid orchid orchard orchard I don't know I can never see that but it literally smells so delicious and so I've been wearing it often I actually keep it here on my desk so that I can remember to put it on let me get my eye patches just see wait I have to show you guys look at how cool this is you can literally see everything and with my other lenses you cannot see that hi my sweet boy this is mama's baby Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
So this is the eye patch that I've been using. I feel like I showed this to you guys already, but probably on Instagram or something. But this is the 24 under eye patches, and I used to just put it on and not put it in the refrigerator, but now I like it so much better when I put it in the nevera because it feels just so cooling and refreshing. And so I have been doing this every day. It always stays inside. Now the real question is, which way do you put this on? Because I used to put the skinny side first because it fits more snug and then when I was in Cali Denora she was putting the big size to kind of cover the whole eye I was like oh maybe that makes more sense so comment down below which way are you supposed to put this because y'all I don't even know so for now I'm putting the fat side in the inner corner and then the the skinny part towards the out but I don't know if that's right so let me know which way we're supposed to be putting this because I honestly never know but for now we're gonna just keep it like this desk is clean I am ready to film I guess I'll show you guys kind of how I prep for filming. So I use my iMac as a monitor and I bring it over here. I was watching Married at First Sight here, so that's why that is on. I'm going to clean my camera lenses with this just so that it's nice and clean. I try to do it at least once a week or however often I am filming that week just to make sure it's nice and clean for the video. And then I also wipe down my mirror this always gets pretty dirty usually filled with product and stuff like that so i wipe that down so that i have a clean mirror to work with so this typically has a light a ring light around it but i don't turn it on because it'll mess up my filming lighting here use the canon app on my computer and there we are and then i also have my microphone which i bring it and i put it close to my face so that it can you know capture the sound turn it on Definitely don't want to film without that on. Mama, you're on my chair, brother. Can I sit here? I know you want to sit on Mama's chair. And now I just got to make sure that I like what I see. So this seems like a good angle. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and film my makeup video and then I will I'll see you guys once I am all glammed up. I'm back. I just finished filming this makeup look. I feel more put together now. I've actually haven't done my makeup since Sunday and it's now Wednesday. So it felt good to just chat with you guys and do my makeup because I haven't done it in a while. And I always love to do my makeup. It's so therapeutic. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel confident and I like it and I also was able to hide this annoying little bruise on my lip Ugh, so freaking annoying plans have changed for today I'm actually gonna be going to the mall really quickly with my parents they're gonna go put some gas and they invited me to go I have two things to do I need to do a return from Zara because I bought some jeans that didn't fit me and I bought like three pairs of jeans and y'all know Zara jeans are expensive so I am gonna go return those I don't think I'm in a shopping mood today to like buy something but if I see something cute I'll probably just exchange it. so I'm gonna go do that and then I need to get a frame from Ikea for my coffee cart I'll show you guys I did my own little well I didn't do it I bought it off the of Etsy it's a coffee sign it is so stinking cute I'm gonna show you guys I am starving it is now 1 30 and I haven't had anything to eat so I'm gonna pop in a bagel or something so that I can eat and then I'm also gonna look over this footage really quick before I head out they're gonna come pick me up in one hour that's not gonna give me enough time to edit but it will give me enough time to at least look at the footage see how I'm liking it if I want to keep it I also dirtied my sweater in the process I put mascara on it so we might have to change this outfit because I don't want to walk around with a dirty sweater you know I am craving a huge salad so I'm probably gonna eat a bagel with cream cheese right now and then for dinner or like lunch or early dinner we will buy a salad because I really want a salad I just want to go outside Look at them. Oh, with this lens you can see me and the computer. That's fun. Usually with my other lenses, you guys can only either see half of me or computer. This is so cool. Okay, so here is okay, so it looks good. So you guys can see what I'm looking at. I brought the camera in as well. So let me import the footage and then I'm going to put it into Final Cut Pro. And then on Final Cut Pro, I have like a color preset for that specific camera that I created myself that caters basically the footage that's on that camera because all of my cameras kind of, I try to keep them with the same settings, but sometimes it just looks different on the computer than it does through the viewfinder. So I'm going to put it in here and put that color preset on it to make sure I like how it looks because sometimes, again, I just have to play 
play around with settings on the camera and you know the color correction from over here so it's just a lot a lot that a lot goes into this and i like my work to look clean cohesive and so i take it really really seriously i hope you guys can see that or like like notice it so good news i love the footage i think it looks really really good i actually really like it i was about to start editing but i don't have enough time i'm gonna try to come back home early so that i don't spend 15 hours in a day also you need this stand if you are a content creator you guys need that ipad stand it holds your phone your ipad it holds everything and it looks more cuter than the other one and it also has this which is really really flexible the one that i had before broke and it's like the really popular one that everybody like uses every instagrammer or youtuber uses it but this one is so much better so much more sleek and clean i think it's significantly cheaper i think this is only like either 30 dollars, 20 dollars. i don't think it was that pricey so i always have it here i film instagram stories and stuff like that here so i just put it right over here and i turn on my lamp right here that's why the lamp is here and that's how i do stories because the quality just looks so much better when there's like direct lighting in front of you I'm gonna go ahead change my outfit and make something because I'm so hungry I'm in pajama shorts by the way I'm gonna take this camera with me to vlog today I'm a little nervous because this camera is much bigger than the typical one that I used to vlog but I'm testing it out so I want to do a full day of vlogging I need to clean this closet this closet is not it's not the best right now should I stay in like the yellow spirit and do this yellow sweater look I wish you guys could actually answer me right now Alexa what's the weather it's 48 degrees Fahrenheit. oh it's cold skies happy wednesday oh happy wednesday thank you all right so i have this gray top that i have not i don't think i've worn but am i like a button down girl i don't think i'm a button downs girl let me put it on and see because i haven't worn a button down in forever so maybe i'll be feeling it i don't know let's try it like this is what the shirt looks like on me i don't know i kind of like it it's kind of cozy i did go ahead and steal my husband's hat he's gonna be pretty upset with me but it's okay and then i had to bring my hair down you guys that bun was just too tight i can't do buns for too long and i'm gonna go out and run some errands if i stay with that bun all day i'm gonna really be annoyed by the end of the day and i really am trying not to pull too much on my edges so i just took my hair down threw it up in a little ponytail it's really really shrunken right now i do wish my hair was a little bit more stretched out because it would have looked better right now it just looks like a little pom-pom but i don't really care so that's that i put on these jeans from zara i'm gonna show you guys these are my favorite jeans at the moment they're from zara i love them i'm gonna cuff them and wear my air force ones let me put them on okay i put them on and this is gonna be the outfit for today it is cold though so i'm gonna need a jacket i was thinking of wearing this green one i don't know if there's too many colors or maybe i can do the black one I need like a full length mirror here. I think this is okay. Or I could also do my black bomber, my cross body thing. Or I can do this back. But I need something sporty because this is definitely a more sporty look. So I don't think I want to wear this back. Let me see. I also have this bag that I can put. That could be a look. So I ended up putting my hair in a bun instead because I wasn't feeling the pom-poms like i was not feeling the cheerleader vibes today no ma'am so i put it in a bun i'm gonna show you guys my coffee bar i love it it's literally coming out so cute well it came out so cute it's almost done i got these cute little mini <laughs> spice jars from amazon i just have to label them i have cinnamon pumpkin spice and nutmeg here and i just have them here so cute okay this is a sign that i got from etsy i freaking love this sign the only thing is that i thought it was bigger so it's a printable one what i did is that i, I got it printed out at walgreens and i did not know they had a cardboard option so i got the cardboard option for literally eight dollars because they always have coupons and i got half off and i freaking love it because because it gives me all the different coffee recipes this was my old one which was so cute too but look how small it is i didn't realize that this one was so big but either way i love this one so much better this one 
it's kind of similar but this one has like a little bit more color and this one also has more coffee options by the way i tried this one yesterday at Fregato. oh my god that was so delicious i put a scoop of vanilla haagen in an espresso coffee and it was so good like you don't put any sugar any syrup or any creamer or milk or anything like that you literally just brew an espresso shot and then you put the vanilla ice cream in it like a scoop and it's so delicious it's like authentic coffee ice cream in my opinion <laughs> it's so good but i want to try literally all of these except for the irish coffee because i don't drink alcohol but all the other ones i want to try them so maybe we can do that you know for a vlog i'll just pick like a new one americano which is that ew water and espresso gross that sounds weird this is an 11 by 14 and what i'm gonna do is get the 16 by 20 frame from ikea and so that's gonna fill up the borders and then i'm gonna put it right up here and if they have it in the natural finish like this finish will be cute if they don't i can do it in white it's totally fine but i think that will break it up and it'll just make it stand out a little bit more and that is the coffee bar look who's with me j man say hi guys hey <laughs> So soft. Uh, I don't like this top. Look at this one. It looks a little bit more fancy. Hello vlog. Hello vlog. You sound so stink. Let me just bring these. My no-show socks siempre se me desaparecen. Do I want colorful ones? What are these? These are cute. I'll get these because they always disappear and my husband always takes them. Maybe if I get colorful ones, he won't take them. Let me put this here. Hi, Joy. Hi. Look how cute. Look at this set, guys, from Marshalls. I'm gonna get an extra large because the way this bottom is, I need some extra room. And since it's a lighter color, I don't want it to look like it's stretched out. So look at these glasses, guys. Do we like? I'm used to the oversized glasses, but these are actually kind of cute. And I'm feeling these. I love these hair towels. I got them last time, but I'm gonna get them again because I don't know where they went. <laughs> I'm always losing them, but they're so cute. And they're only $9.99, so. Look at this. Anti-frizz defining gel from Design Essentials for $9.99. I kind of want to try it. Maida? Oh my gosh. I want to try this. This looks good. They have so many products over here. Okay, but I've never used this before. And you guys know I love Naughty. It's the hair curl jelly. But it's broken. Oh, I didn't even know they had a jelly. But it's broken. Naughty is such a good line. And I loved, love, love their conditioner. I mean the hair mask, but it's broken. I don't want to buy this and then it's like used or something. They're fully stocked. Look at this. Fully, fully stocked. I don't know why is my car already so full. What the heck? I didn't even come with like the intention of getting anything. But I found some really good gems. And I'm just like... I need these things. I definitely need a hair towel because I keep using the cotton ones and those are not good. I like this gel. I might leave the caps because, I mean, let's be real. How often do I wear hats? Not often. So, we'll eliminate that. I needed some no-shows and then I got three sets of pajamas and this. Which is $30. Ugh, I don't know why if I want to take it. I think I'm going to leave these too. They don't feel as thick as Fabletics. I love Fabletics. So, I don't know if i'll take these two we'll see I just took them on a spin in my mom's car mom how do you feel i'm safe guys i have this idea my mom's gonna join me Ma, so that means you have to look up recipes too so we could do we're gonna do a 21 day challenge where we have a salad every single day so that's gonna be either if you want to have it for lunch or for dinner but it has to be a salad but a different recipe so it could be fun so we're gonna do it for 21 days straight so if you guys want to join comment down below and make sure you follow me on instagram at chelly's curls because i'm gonna be posting on my stories every single day the salad 
that I'm doing. Today's salad is going to be a treat because it's going to be at a restaurant. So that can count. <laughs> we're that not counts too. We're not cooking. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, long as it's a cooked. salad, that's what matters. Okay, my dad's here. So Bye. Now give it up. Now give up the seat. Give up the I know. Seat. I got to give up the seat now. Espresso store. I'm gonna pick up some pot, then return the stuff at Zara. And I think we were planning on going to Walmart so I can get some stuff for my like 21 day salad challenge. So stay tuned for that. I've okay. been doing designs on dresses and I want to show you a couple. She's a designer, by the way. So two of these I have names, but the rest of them I don't have a name for. Them. So this one is called Bridesmaid. It's for if you wanna, if you have a wedding and you wanna wear something, but you wanna look better than the bride. <laughs> oh my god! And this one is called Sunshine for a nice hot summer day. Could look cute, but it's not so hot. If you know what I mean. What is this? This says Holly, Holy Moly. Yes, Holy Moly. It's so hot. I've got another one. This one she worked really hard on. She was doing it the whole car ride. Yep, it's based on a show. No, a movie. We all used to watch when we were kids. I lived in Wonderland. Joy, you're not still a kid? No. Oh, okay. All right, I have another one. It's really cute. I like it. It says Mount Hall, based on like Mount Hall. And it says there's no eye in team. And there's little shoes. Adorable, it's really cute dress. I really like it. Wow, you are an artist. This one is for like a little dress so you can wear at home, like a bata. A like bata? a pajama. A okay. pajama dress. And this one is plain. This one is the one you're working on? Yep, I'm working on this one. It has a nice shape. We really like it, so I'm gonna do a few designs and I'll be right back with it. Bye! It's the next morning, but I wanted to show you guys how cute the coffee sign ended up coming out. It's literally perfection, and I'm gonna put it right here. How stinking cute! And then I also got this one yesterday because I had that one, but that one was gonna blend too much with this one. I'm so happy with the coffee sign. And then I also forgot to show you guys which pods I got from the Nespresso store. So I got a cup 
first of all from ikea was 150 so stinking cute i love the color this would be good for like a single shot of espresso i'm still in my pjs <laughs> but i got three new pods that i have never tried before so i have no not three i got two because i got two puerto rico because puerto rico apparently is really good i think i have puerto rico in the i definitely have puerto rico in the virtual line i need to do a little restock here because why am i saying puerto rico it's not puerto rico it's peru oh no i don't have it here but i definitely bought peru for the virtual line a while ago but they didn't have it for the original line and now they do and so i remember it being good for the virtual line so i got two of them for the original line and and this is the packaging I'm gonna open it so you guys could see how cute how cute the color is look at that vibrant green and then I got this one which is the Vienna and it's a lungo and so I didn't know that you can brew a lungo as an espresso shot so a lungo is this setting right here and this one just brews more and with more water I like it to be more concentrated so I just stick to this one the espresso shot and the worker there she told me that you can brew lungos as espresso but you can't really do espresso <clears throat> as lungos because it's going to come out a little bit too light and like watery i'm going to restock well they don't fit there anymore but i'm going to switch some out so that i can have some new ones here and then i also keep backups over here i also need to restock this i wish there was like small dividers so that i can have them straight but i've been looking everywhere on amazon and i don't find anything that fits this size jar is not as big as like those that you would have in the kitchen so my pods are always all over the place but nonetheless i should definitely bring out some different pods but i need to cancel out a roll first so yeah that was what i got yesterday mm -hmm.